The morning after the deadly shooting in Boulder, Colorado, one 11 year old boy was especially heartbroken. He thought of the victims, their families, and the countless employees who had to go back to work the very next day. And then JJ decided to act. He purchased flowers at his local King Scoopers store, about 25 miles from the Boulder location. And he hand delivered each one to the employees. These emotional photos caught my attention and I knew I had to speak to the kid behind all of this kindness because I want it to spread. I want it to spread to all other children. Oh my goodness. Joining me now is JJ Whitmer. Thank you so much for being here. I am so excited to talk to you. I admire you um, and how compassionate you are. Why did you want to do this and go to your local King, King Scooper stores and give out flowers to the staff? Well, me and my mom thought maybe we could just do something kind for the King Supers and the flowers make people happy, or at least my mom. <laughs> and so that's what made me think that we should do this. Do you always do acts of kindness? Kindness, is that something that you think about a lot? Yeah, definitely. Is that something your mom taught you how to do, you know, when, when somebody is sad to try to do something compassionate and nice to make them feel better? Yeah, I feel like it's just a part of our family and that's kind of what we do. So I feel like that's part of it. I love that. How did the employees react when you came up, came with flowers? Um, you know, you're walking up to them, you have flowers and you're thanking them on a, on a day, which I'm sure was really hard for them. Yeah. Um, there was this one employee in the bagging area and when I gave her a rose, she just started to cry and say, thank you. And it almost made me tear up and it made me very elated and, I really liked that experience. That's wonderful. You're such an inspiration. What What is your message to grown-ups about being nicer, being kinder? Um, how can we all be a little bit nicer to each other? Well, just a simple act of kindness can go far away. Um, and like what I did, it wasn't like I didn't expect it to go this big. And so I was just super happy for this. And instead of thinking about doing it, you should just do it. I love that. Don't think about it. Just do it. Don't try. Do. Um, what's next for you, JJ? Are you going to be, I know you're on your way to baseball practice. Are you going to, do you want to be a professional baseball player, president? What do you want to do when you grow up? Multiple things. Uh, but definitely baseball as a job when I'm older. That's a really fun job, and it pays really well if you can make it to the the MLB. <laughs> yeah. What what position do you play in baseball? I play multiple positions, but my main one is second and shortstop and catcher. Wow, shortstop and catcher. Oh snap! I mean, what's your favorite position to play? Uh, is it shortstop or catcher? It's catcher. I get that. I feel like the catcher has like, well, I guess it's sort of a toss up. I'm not a really big baseball player myself, um, but I love watching it. And I love that uh, there are children out there like you, JJ, that are focusing on acts of kindness and compassion. JJ, I know you're only 11, but please, please don't ever change. The way you are being kind and doing it um, is the way I want so many more kids and adults uh, to be. Thank you so much for being here and have a great baseball practice and a great weekend. Hi, I'm Zerlina Maxwell. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more from Zerlina by clicking any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thanks for watching.